What's up, my nerds? Welcome back to another episode. First nerd on the right. I'm your host, Mr. J. And today, I wanted to talk about, you know, the new Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptors that were uh, officially rendered with color in their past Prime 1 Direct that we had a couple weeks ago. Now, I know I'm a little late with the video, but unfortunately, you know, life happens. Can't exactly, you know, do the videos as soon as I would like to sometimes. So this one's a little late, but I did want to go over uh, how cool and how excited I am for these new Jurassic Park 3 Raptors. Now, I know these have been uh, wanted for a long time by the community. The Jurassic Park community. We love Raptors. We love all the films. Well, for the most part, right? Usually the original trilogy is better than, you know, the Jurassic World trilogy, but that's a conversation for another time. We're not here for that. We're here because of our love for Raptors. And I know a lot of people have been asking for the JP3 Raptors. Uh, Prime One, you know, they teased them. Uh, a little while back and we finally got uh, a peek at the colored versions and that's what we're gonna look over today they look amazing let's get into it first picture I thought we'd go and look at the you know prime one posted picture which usually is a pretty good indication of you know with the detail quality uh, usually you know 4k picture and whatnot so let's look at this. Here we have both the male and the female. Uh, beautiful, obviously. You got, you know, the the little feathers, little hair follicles, right up on the on the head on the male. You can see, you know, the different color variations. You got the reds, the blues, the white stripes uh, on the head. Beautiful, beautiful. It, it, it's really gonna stand out compared to the other raptors right well i mean prime one has basically just given us the jurassic park one raptors and they've given us the blue raptor right so although blue has a little more color on her we still don't have the raptors from the lost world fingers crossed that prime one if you're looking we also want the tiger ones but again let's continue with the video Lots of color variation on this Raptor. It's going to be very cool. It's going to look great in, in our collections. And we have the female as well, who's also going to be very unique looking. You know, you have her, she's mostly white with some black stripes. You see she's got black around the eyes, looking very, you know, gothic looking, if one would say, right? Very dark looking. Uh, very unique. I like it. It's got that, like, goth look to it, right? Super cool. Totally feeling it. Uh, we're gonna go to the next picture here now these I did get off the internet so so we're gonna continue here we have again the a better look at the male raptor you can see down here on the on the claws and on the on the on the feet you got the reddish tones right you got a darker grayish here with some reddish tones in it as well you can see some light striping white uh, underbelly right <coughs> excuse me um <coughs> just dying a little bit guys don't worry about me uh in the second picture here we got a little look closer look at the the base now you do have I'm not sure if this is a sign or is it some sort of a vehicle or something uh Probably just a sign outside of uh, that compound that they found, right? My, I'm guessing it says InGen on it. You got, you know, vegetation growing around it. You got tree branches, uh, you know, your typical shrubbery. Here we got another side view of the male raptor. You see more of the color here. The light's hitting it more directly on this picture. Lots of detail. Prime one just, they really know how to do their dinosaurs. Expensive, but man do they look amazing look at that beautiful white stripe going from over at the the eye down the neck down the back probably all the way down the tail beautiful beautiful we got the yellows on the underbelly as well 
Lots of variation in the color, lots of detail, lots of scaling. It's looking real good. You get a closer look at the head on this picture. Again, very good lighting, very good picture here. Beautiful scaling, beautiful teeth. It's, it's, it's like a red, white, and blue raptor, right? It looks pretty cool. Very uh, America, Americana, right? Super into it. This raptor's gonna look gorgeous. Uh, so then down here, these are gonna be pictures that I took from the video recording that I did off of my phone while I was uh, watching the actual uh, event take place, right? See here in the base, uh, so you have, looks like a tr little tree stump here, a very thin tree. Uh, it's gonna be a, the base for the male raptor. Here's a close up on the eye. So it's gonna have a nice reddish yellow tints in there. It's gonna look nice. <coughs> here, it looks like we're jumping to the base on the female. And you can see the eggs. So these are two different bases. I know the base on the male is going to have the engine sign and the base on the female is going to have the nest. So not going to be the exact same uh, base like they did with all the Jurassic Park 1 raptors, right? All three of them, closed mouth, open mouth, attack, same exact base, same tree, same base, same everything. Only thing that changed on those was, you know, the, the pose, but this one, they're giving us completely different bases for each of the male and the female so super cool more unique so here you get a close view on the eggs lots of detail of course good job on the paint job they look really nice you got lots of variation in the color as well you got the shadows you got the you know the dirty they're on the dirt uh you got all the little ripples on on, on the egg shells smooth rough it, it looks very realistic it looks like a very detailed job i'm very happy with it here we see more pictures on the female now we're gonna see the colors and variations on her skin right look at the scaling here you got the black stripes gonna be mostly a white uh tone on on the female with some looks like blackish and yellowish stripings here we got a close-up on the eye again very nice bright eye the contrast is really nice a bright yellowish eye here with the black uh around the eyeball itself kind of looks like it has like i said goth right very like mascara right emo very very uh very cool very different yeah, this is gonna look so nice guys female raptor here you got a thicker um tree stump here more vegetation on this on on, on the ground level again nothing crazy there but look at the stance on her very elegant right very regal you can tell she's in charge beautiful striping and lots of variation in the striping too it looks like uh you mostly got the stripes on the arms the legs looks like the tip on the tail some striping on on the snout <coughs> excuse me some striping on the underbelly very very nice here we got another view on the male raptor this is more of a right uh, bottom the top view right another side view on the female she does have reddish uh tones on the the claws as well so she does have variation here you can see little spikes on the back of the head as well i think that looks really cool it helps uh again give us more distinguishable uh appearance right compared to the other raptors so i think it's very well designed again we here we see more of the male as well you got the sign in the back engine <coughs> and then here at the end of the video you got to see both of them side by side so they are continuing with the museum style uh base that they usually do they have that all all of their 1 6 scale pieces all of their uh 1 15 scale pieces it's got you know your basic uh slab on top slab on the bottom and then fossils in between right so nothing nothing new there it's gonna have the jurassic park 3 emblem the name of the raptor on the bottom right but the top of the base where all the you know the meat and potatoes are that is different 
So I appreciate that. Very cool. Uh, down here we have some more pictures. You see the tail on the male. You see the reddish tones, the stripes, the yellowish uh, underbelly. It's going to be a very colorful raptor. It's going to be very beautiful. You see a close-up view here with the with the feet. Again, with the reddish tones. The, the black nails, claws. Here we see a little close-up on the female. She has some red tone on the inside of her claws. Very beautiful. Very elegant. These are, these are beautiful, beautiful dinosaurs, guys. I'm, I'm very excited for them. Now, these were, you know, introduced or shown off uh, last couple weeks, right? This was for uh, their Thanksgiving uh, direct. So based on, you know, after they show us color uh, previews on their statues. I'm expecting these raptors to start going on pre-order within the next couple of weeks. I know it's already been a couple of weeks since the initial, uh, you know, showcase there, right? The direct. So typically, you know, based on how Prime One likes to do their stuff, they like to jump from category to category, right? Right after that direct, they put that 138 scale T-Rex. So Jurassic Park's already checked off the list. We've already gotten some Batman stuff, I believe. Uh, some anime stuff I've been seeing. Uh, we got Terminator. So we're getting all the other stuff, you know, going down the list. So probably have some DC stuff coming up. Probably have some other Batman things. Uh, maybe some other uh, genre here or two before we start going back to Jurassic Park they're probably gonna set a, a stagger the pre-orders on them as well my guess we'll probably get the mail first and then you know a couple weeks after that a month or so after that we'll get the female um, these will probably be released 2025 uh, usually it takes about a year or so for these to be uh, ready however what Edition size being smaller uh, Nowadays they could release sooner. I know I have a buddy of mine <coughs> Excuse me A buddy of mine who got his blue and beta early. It was slated for January. He got them right now uh, Early December, right? So about a month early nothing crazy, but early nonetheless uh, I'm guessing like I said probably get these uh, beginning early to mid 2025 <coughs> Excuse me um, So yeah, uh, price wise Again based on today's market and how they've been pricing things lately the last attack Raptor that they did was $900 uh, The blue and beta was $1,100. So Since prices are going up uh, I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is probably gonna be 950 to thousand dollars each my guess Could it be less? It'd be it would it could be it'd be awesome if they're like 800 850 but doubtful It's gonna be at least 900 wouldn't be surprised if they're a thousand hopefully I'm wrong but by the time you see this video Probably know in a couple weeks might even know by the time you see this, uh, depending when you see it. So, very cool stuff. Excited. Again, Jurassic Park is one of our main genres, right? We love it. I love it. I'm all about Jurassic Park, so I'm here for it. Let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts? Are you excited for these Jurassic Park 3 Raptors? You think they're going to be super expensive? What do you think the addition size is going to be on them? Let's talk about it. Leave a comment. Let's... uh conversate right let's let's make friends on here right share our passion for jurassic park just put it out there i think the addition size is probably going to be like a hundred under 50. i i don't i don't see them making more it's just uh, everything's too expensive right now guys so probably gonna be low additions if you're interested again as usual try to pre-order this you don't want to be paying aftermarket prices guys so 
leave comment share subscribe like the video and thanks for thanks for stopping by see you my nerds